Okay, today we're going to start up a new drawing and uh, we're going to work on sub D Rhino tools. Um, we're going to focus in on bridging, uh, bridging between two um, hollow tubes. So I'm going to start off with a curve and we're just going to draw a line. Doesn't matter where it's at. Okay. Two curves, and they would intersect. So now we will either pipe these with uh, solid pipe, and then convert the pipe to sub D, or we can go sub D using the pipe command there. Either one will work just fine. Um, let's simplify it one step and just go sub D pipe, since that's what we want to have. And we'll pick a diameter that looks good. Move this over just a little bit and sub D pipe that again. Okay, so we have two pipes, and notice that the ends of it are filled in. Each edge is selected by your shift control key so I can pick a an edge I can pick a point and I could pick a surface and are all done by holding the shift control key so those are the way I can select my edges in this case I would rather have one surface here. So I'm going to pick the center point and then delete it. That way, when I pick this surface, I get one surface. It's going to make it a little easier to bridge. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Pick the point and delete. So I end up with one surface. Okay. Now, I need that to come in to bridge into here, but if I bridge this and join all that together, it's going to go from the top to the bottom and blend it all in. I'd like to focus the blend into a little area right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here and grab this top edge. If I control shift and then double click, I get the entire circumference. And then I could say sub D insert edge. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but I can insert an edge there. Double click that, insert an edge. Now I want to insert one down below, one up above, and then one down below. So we're going to pipe in between these two, or join in between those two. Okay. Let's turn this down just a little bit so it's a little easier to see. Okay. So, I need to pick the curve that this is going to go into. And I'm going to delete that. That gets me a surface here. Okay. So this surface here has six edges to it. And if I hit the tab key, it turns it into the box mode, which sometimes makes it a little clearer. And this surface here has eight by having six edges on one surface and eight edges on the other surface uh, they don't match up so I need to either add an extra edge onto two of the sides over here probably sides six and three or I need to delete two edges on this one so that we have the same number of edges on both surfaces. 
Let's take and split this. So I'm going to go sub D, insert edge, pick the edge to insert. Now we have uh, eight edges on here, as well as eight edges on here, so they should blend together. So let's see if we can do that. Sub D, bridge, pick the first surface, press enter, pick the second surface, press enter. And because we're in the box mode, it comes out kind of rough. We hit the tab key, it toggles between the box mode and the smooth mode. As you can see, we have a couple of edges that uh, are not very smooth. So what we need to do is go up to Sub D, Edit Tools, Remove Crease. So we can pick the crease that we would like to remove, press Enter. And we'll probably do the same thing to the other side, press Enter, which repeats the command. And pick the edges that we would like to smooth out. That completes our first joint. So we're going to show you again uh, another method of doing the same type of thing. So we'll just slide this over here. Start off with again a curve and a curve. Sub D pipe. Press enter. Get a pipe. Uh, over there. Follow the same procedures. Eliminate the center part so we have a one surface there. Double click. Sub D. Insert edge. One there. One say down there. Move that up a little bit so it lines up a little better. Come in and eliminate this surface there. And we're going to actually eliminate that surface as well. So we have a hole. And on this side, we're going to do the same thing. Pick that edge and then pick that surface and delete that. So we have a hole here as well. Okay, so now what we want to do is we could have left those surfaces and blended them just like before, but we want to add an extra branch into here. So we're going to go back to our front view and we're going to take this and we're going to go transform, copy from A to B. We're going to take and rotate this. And move it up a little bit. Okay. Now we'll bridge these together. So we'll get a three-way bridge. Let's go back to perspective. So we can see a little bit what we're doing. And we're going to go sub D, bridge, and we're going to go control shift and pick the edge at the top. Press enter. And pick the two at the top here. Press enter. And since we picked two surfaces on each one, it'll bridge that up just nicely. Okay, we'll do the same thing here. Bridge. And we could pick the two bottom ones. Press enter. And then pick the two bottom ones here. Press enter. And it builds this bridge there. Now we'll bridge out here. There we go. So this gives us a hole 
that we need to fill in. And there's a couple of ways to do that. Um, we could take and just double click so I get the circumference and go sub D fill. And sometimes that gets us a pretty good surface. Sometimes we'll need to clean up a few things. If we can, we prefer to keep quads. So four sides on each surface. Uh, where we end up with um, multiple sides or, or edges that kind of come in a little bit goofy. Sometimes we need to clean those up. So again, double click. Sub D fill. And there we go. I hope that helps you out with what some of the uh, sub D tools are. And we will use these in our carbon fiber bike project. Thank you again.